Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. Yeah, I woke up this morning. That's a good Thank start. God. That's a good start. Yeah. And uh, I uh, went out and got the newspaper, came in and made myself a pot of Folgers coffee, and then I turned on the local news, Ooh. and I thought to myself, you know, all these things I'm doing are soon going to be obsolete. <laughs> They're going to be gone. Who reads the newspaper? Yeah. Do you believe I actually went out and got the newspaper? Are you kidding me? No. No. I stopped the newspaper a long time ago. You've got network news. Yeah. You got local news. You know. Obsolete. So today we have a list, actually part two, if you will, of more things that will soon be obsolete. Like us. Him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's on the next Men Are So Smart. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. You know, we have like 370 now. Wow. Can you believe that? It only seems like 350. It does, and you don't look a day over 320. <laughs> uh, if you enjoy our program, thank you. If you're new to our show, thank you. We appreciate your time, and we encourage you to like the episode. Uh, if you do, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you'll get you know, notifications yeah. when new shows come out. Kind of important. Today on Men Are So Smart, more things that are becoming obsolete. These are things that you and I grew up with, Ronnie, yeah. as just everyday normal things. Yep. Uh, stuff that, you know... You couldn't live without that. Right, you yeah. bet. Nowadays, these things are falling by the wayside very quickly. Yep. For instance, on our list today, cash. Yeah. No one seems to carry cash anymore. No. Me, I like to have like 10 or 20 bucks in my pocket just for incidentals, you know? I, geez, I need to grab a bite to eat or whatever, you know? And, and you gotta have cash. Like at, like at the, at the fair or at the Autorama, they may not have, uh, you know, ATM. Anyway. You know what, I carry cash, but I get cash back on a credit card that I have. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's no reason not to use that card in most cases. And you know, back in the day, if you wanted cash, you had to go to the bank. Right. And you'd have to deal with a teller. And there would be, I don't know, 30 people in the bank, you know, and, and one or two tellers. There. Right, right. Uh, you'd have to fill out a form, and then you have to stand in line. I can't even remember the last time I've been <laughs> inside a bank. Sure, cash will have a place for a while. But ATMs, direct deposit, and simply being able to use a credit or debit card everywhere, from McDonald's to Denial's Farmer's Market and Auction and Bazaar, <laughs> have made cash, cash much less necessary. Uh, apps like Square, a point of sale app, and Venmo, which I have now on my phone, oh. which allows you to electronically pay your friend back for that pizza they bought, make a cashless society even easier. You know... The, the producer for my uh, radio show, Adam, yep. never has cash. That explains a lot. <laughs> it does. It explains why we had to buy that breakfast the last time yes. before. Yeah. Uh, never has cash. Yep. And I, I think it's a sign of millennials, too. Yeah. They don't even, you know, it's like uh, they've never even seen a $100 bill. No. I don't know. Well, and it really is. I mean, all my checks... Our direct deposit. Yeah, me too. It's not like you go down and you have to cash a check anymore. Right. Everything's just taken care of. Yeah. Hey, next up on the list, this is this is one of mine that I still have a car that has one of these. It's a manual transmission. A what? Yeah, it's a stick shift. A what? <laughs> so three on the tree? Yeah. And somebody sent me a little joke the other day, said if you wanted to disable a whole generation, produce only cars with manual transmission and write in cursive. Uh-huh. Yeah. They they don't understand it. No. So cars, They don't teach it in school. They really don't. I don't think they do anymore. Yeah, it's all typing now. Uh, cars utilizing stick shifts, also called manual transmission, are disappearing. I mean, in the very near future. Fewer manufacturers make manual transmissions anymore. USA Today reports that only 3.5% of U.S. car sales in 2018 were manuals. And earlier this year, Audi confirmed it will no longer offer a manual transmission car. Wow. Yeah. Um, God, I can't believe that. It's hard to imagine. Automatic transmission cars have become way more efficient. Uh, fewer U.S. drivers are even taught how to drive a stick shift. 
And for those who will always love the stick shift, this transition will really grind your gears. Okay, I get it, I get it. Yeah. So when I was a kid, my first car was a 64 Ford Falcon station wagon. We don't think we knew each other then. No. It was white, it was beautiful. Except I took all of the white paint off and took it down to primer. Oh, so perfect. Broke. Nice. And uh, nice, put nice. these rims. And the point is, it had a three on the tree, is what we call it, a three speed. That. Yep. Uh, and it, the way it worked was first gear was down here, and you push your clutch in and go up to second up here like this yep. on the steering wheel while you're driving. And then the clutch goes in again, and it comes down to third gear, and you're off and running. Yep. And if you wanted to go reverse, you'd go up to the middle. In. in and up yep. like that we call the three on a tree i mentioned that to somebody the other day they looked at me like i was giving back the periodic table to them <laughs> <laughs> seriously he goes on the steering wheel yes on yeah. the steering wheel yeah well and it's really <clears throat> so my corvette is a manual transmission oh it's a six speed huh it's a six speed well if you wanted a z06 that's all they made it in oh it was manual transmissions only. Well, now the Z06s are automatics, and the automatics are actually a little bit faster. Uh, they're all paddle shifters. Uh huh. So it is. It's a little bit faster transition with a, uh, an automatic now, and plus they have like 10 speed automatics, and so it really is. It's almost a no brainer. Hey, are you good with a paddle shifter? I've used one one time. I did once too. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't very good. I, it's the over rev was almost blew the engine. I think. Yeah, it's it's a learned. You you definitely have to get used to it. Yeah, upshift, downshift. Up and of course, shift, you know what? Shift. The millennials are probably saying the same thing to us. Oh uh, yeah. Well, well, we don't know anything else. Right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next up, headphones with cords. Oh. On this radio show that I do, I didn't bring them in here, but. Uh, I wear a particular kind of headphone, and I have since I first started doing radio in about 1983. They are Sony MDVR60 or something like that. I can't really remember. Anyway, uh, they are a corded, enclosed headphone. They are the best thing that I've ever used. I've only had three pairs in 30 plus years. Wow. I can't even imagine not having that cord. However, listeners are able to tune into music podcasts, audiobooks, or just cancel out the annoying noise of a busy plane or office thanks to headphones. But headphones are changing. Eventually, they'll mostly move to a wireless version, which we'll talk about in a second here, where you don't have to plug the headphones into a computer or phone. The cordless versions do seem safer. No more worries about tripping over the cord. What are you, an idiot? Uh, while running on a treadmill, who runs? Uh, or accidentally stepping on it while bending down, who bends down? Yeah. For now, <laughs> you can still use your corded ones, but the next time you buy a set, you'll probably want to think seriously about cutting the cord. Ronnie, you've got uh, wireless for your wife's iPhone, correct? Yes, mm -hmm. my wife and I, because I bought some first. Right. I bought the AirPods, uh -huh. the Apple AirPods. They're amazing. They stay charged up forever. They sound really good. They work well. Uh, you can put just one in, and it plays stereo through one, and if you pop the other one in, play stereo through both of them. Wow. Uh, if your phone happens to ring while you're wearing them, uh -huh. you tap, tap it, it and it answers the phone. Amazing. Uh, they really are, they're they're great. And so I love mine so much, I bought my wife some and she she doesn't hurt, use her I enough. Got but to get me some of them. They're really great. Today on the show we're talking about things, more things that will soon be obsolete, if not already. Yeah, uh, this next one, GPS devices. So not not global positioning technology, you know, per se. That'll be around forever, probably. But the little ones, especially the ones that come uh, with your car. Garmin, is that one? Garmin, yes, mm -hmm. yes. So ones that you would buy over the counter, uh, I'm afraid that's a, that's that's got to go. Uh, Passe. I've got one myself. I haven't used it forever. Um, I would love to sell it. I know we, uh, Vicky bought it for me on Black Friday, ten years ago, maybe. I bet it's probably worth, and she paid over $100 for it. It might be worth 10 or 15 bucks now. Hey, if you want, we'll do a commercial for it, Ronnie. Send me a picture. I'll put it up. That'd be nice. And then... <laughs> Sell it to a listener. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll put your phone number right here. How's that? <laughs> All around the world, Ronnie. Your phone number right there. But, you know, now it's to the point where if your car doesn't come with GPS, who cares? You put it in your phone. There are so many great, and I, I use Waze, uh, which is a GPS system for your phone. 
it's amazing. Uh, it takes into account traffic on the route that you've selected. And if there's an accident that occurs while you're in route, it routes you around the accident. And I think there's something called, it's called user-based. It is user-based. Mm -hmm. So every, every mile per hour that you're driving, Waze knows how fast you're driving. And it's calculated into uh, by using the formula of everybody's information going back to Waze. Mm -hmm. And so it's very, you know, it's for you, it's seamless. It just happens all all by itself. But it, it does. It uh, And it's, it'll tell you what time you're going to be there. Yeah, I know. Most GPS will I love do that. that. Yeah, and but, I don't know if I'm going to be late to work. Yeah. And so people say, hey, how long till you're here? Well, I'll be there at 1038. Mm-hmm. So. Here's my problem. Watch this. Hey, Siri, I need driving directions home. You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. <laughs> Siri's not very friendly to you. We do not get along, Ron. <laughs> Ever. All right, next up, CDs. Oh, Ron, oh Lord. Somewhere next to three milk cartons full of vinyl LPs that I have. Yes are five boxes of CDs oh, man. because I used to belong to one of those clubs. And I, and I, as a music guy in radio for so many years, I've just collected, I must have a thousand CDs. Do I even to listen to one of them? No. I, I probably have 50 CDs in my truck because it has a CD player. Oh, that's right, a multiple pl CD player. But yeah. I don't use it. No. I, I have an MP3 player. I, know. I, know. I keep it plugged in, there's no commercials. It only plays the songs that I love. Mm -hmm. And I have something and like... And my radio show. I think, yes. And yeah. I think I have 1,600 hours of music on there. Uh, yeah. You could live in your truck the rest of your life, Ron. I, I and never to. hear the same song twice. Yeah, I plan to move out here and move into my truck. Mm. Oh, by the way, tomorrow's your last day here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You might want to plug a few CDs in. All right, what do we got? Uh, this next one. Now, this is not... This isn't groundbreaking. Landline phones. <laughs> okay. I, I haven't had one for years. Yeah. Now, but I do know people that have them. And the only reason to have them, and even this is becoming a little bit obsolete, is if you have an alarm system. So if you have an alarm system that dials out right. when your house gets broken into, you either have to have a landline or a dedicated cell phone to dial out when your house gets broken into. Yeah, I've heard people tell me that before. I don't have a home system. I shouldn't say that, should I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we'll yeah. edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> we got the compound. It's not like anybody's going to get past the moat no, with the alligators. We do have an armed guard, <laughs> and I've talked to you about him before. He's got a bad attitude. Yeah, yeah, he's not friendly. No. So it really is. I think that landlines are going to go the same way of pay phones, where... Uh, just really not necessary. My my landline got to the to the point where it was nothing but sales calls. Yeah, and so yeah, that's what mine. Yeah, you know what my situation is. In our package that we have, the the landline is absolutely free. It's of no cost to us whatsoever. But somewhere along the line, the phone got broken. Yeah. No one knows where the machine is, the answering machine is. Yeah. And so people can call that number all they want, and right. it doesn't do anything. Well, and the <laughs> the reality is everybody has a cell phone now. Everybody's phone has uh, voice messaging. Yeah. And so if you miss a call, I know that if it, if my phone rings, it's for me. Right. And if I got a message on there, that message is for me. Right. I really, I don't see much much usefulness in uh, landlines anymore. A couple more things that we have on our list today, Ronnie. Paper receipts. Oh. Now, as you know, I don't really go places a lot. Right. Although, you know, I am going out for, for dinner tomorrow. Oh, And I'm wow. going to find out about this. Holy but cow. evidently, you, can, you don't need to get a paper receipt anymore from a restaurant? No. I just went yesterday to a new restaurant in uh, the Palladio. Uh -huh. And uh, after I paid for it, he flips the... They work on little iPads. Yeah, I've seen them. And then they flip the iPad over so that you can sign it. And then he said, would you like a receipt? And then the options are at the bottom are paper receipt, no receipt, email receipt. Whoa. And so, yeah, I just opted for no receipt. I don't really need a receipt. It was not a tax write-off or anything. And, you know, I don't need my wife seeing how much I paid for lunch. So, <laughs> no receipt. Thank you very much. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. Uh, next up. Uh, movies. 
on DVD. You know what? I would think that almost everybody has a Netflix or a Hulu account yeah. or whatever. Yep. Uh, Amazon Prime and every everybody offers. So are, and that's just Redbox is what they're talking about, right? Uh, well, movies you on can, DVD. You can you can still buy movies oh. uh, at like Walmart. In fact, my my in laws have. I have no idea. A thousand, maybe, probably more. Honestly, I don't DVDs. even have a DVD player. The yeah, I have one and have not used it in a long time. In fact, it came with the TV that we bought because it was a 3D TV, mm -hmm. and so it's a 3D uh, DVD, DVD player. player. And we have we got a couple 3D DVDs when we bought it, uh -huh. uh, and one of them is Alice the in Kardashian Wonderland. tape. Uh, no, <laughs> yeah, that would be interesting in 3D. <laughs> but Whoa! It's, it's Johnny Depp's uh, Alice in Wonderland. Oh, and when you put wow. those glasses on mm -hmm. and they're sitting at the, the long table, you feel like you can reach in and grab something from the Mad Hatter. Are you back on the goofballs? <laughs> <laughs> I, it's possible. I drank some iced tea that might have had something in it. Okay. I don't know. Then, and we'll go through these rather quickly, paper bills, they still come to our house. Yep. We don't pay anything that way. No. I can't even remember the last time I wrote a check. That's another thing. They're going bye-byes. Yep. Uh, you know what's really cool when you travel? No longer do you need paper airline tickets. I love that. You just use your dang phone. I love it. You flash it, you hold it under their little thing, it beeps, and off you go. Ah, you you're got on it, man. You're on the plane. That's, that's one of my favorite ones. Mm -hmm. um, Theater tickets, same uh, thing, right? We do the same thing. We, have, uh, we, have, we go to the movies eh, once a month or so, if not more. We do the same thing with those. We buy them up front. Uh, calculators. Fandango. Yes. Yeah. Uh, who needs a calculator? Everybody has a. Everybody has a phone. Your phone has a calculator on it. Yeah. Useless. It is it, to buy have one. Yeah. Well, I'm sure there are a lot more things that we skipped over here uh, in effort to save a little time. If you'd like to add a few, we'd love to hear from you. Yeah. We make it really easy. The comments are open and they're below. Leave us one. See what happens we respond really quickly, or we try our best to. Yeah. Uh, and, and so we uh, wanted to let you know that we appreciate your comments. Uh, we love to hear from you. We try to be the most interactive hosts on YouTube uh, as possible. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the episode today. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up uh, and feel free to leave a comment. Uh, also, subscribe to our channel, Ronnie. Yeah. How do they do that? Uh, there's a little uh, there's a little button there. Right, it says subscribe. It says subscribe. It's red, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. hit that button. And then what else should they do? Uh, probably hit that bell. Oh, the bell. What happens yeah. when you hit the bell? I when, you hear. Hit that, when you hit that bell, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you get notifications when we put up a new show. Notifications, you say? And we put up new shows three times a week. No way. Monday, Wednesday, Wednesday and Friday. Monday, Wednesday, and Wednesday. Nine Wednesday, Pacific. Nine Pacific. Which is noon Eastern. Noon Eastern. Got yeah. it. All right. Well, there's all the information. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ron. Thanks to Trico Welding Supplies. We'll see you on the next Men Are So Smart.